Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. One timeout at their disposal, but more pressing is the need for two scores, obviously. Here's first and ten. Levis is that's taken in by Akakuo. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Levis to throw. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just get a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Well, they knew a lot of steps had to happen here. They got step one, the touchdown. You need a two-point conversion here, don't you? You do, and as you continue to look ahead, if they're able to get that, somehow get the ball back and get another score, they have to go for two again. That's why teams are practicing multiple two-point plays. We saw that in Super Bowl 51 with the Patriots getting a pair of big two-point conversions. That's caught at the one. And they will get back to within one score as he is into the end zone and the lead's cut to eight here in the four. So here we go. They'll need the recovery, obviously, then a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder. That is intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. surprised with the